Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how to use the Scenario Manager. To use the Scenario Manager in Excel, you need to have a spreadsheet that has formulas. This little spreadsheet here you can see in the grey cells, these grey cells, there are formulas. And each one is just listed next to it so you can see where it is, but it's there on the formula bar. That's just a sum, and that is that one. So basically, you want the Scenario Manager to allow you to change these figures that's in the pink area and see what the impact would be on these grey cells. Now, what I'm going to do is create two scenarios initially. One is going to be actual, so I always think you should create an actual scenario, which is basically these figures, so you can get back to the default figures. And then another one called predicted sales, which will be different figures. So I'll put different figures in. And then the Scenario Manager will allow me to flick between the two so you can see the impact of the change. Now to get the scenario manager, it is on the data tab and it's in what if analysis. There it is, it's part of these three and solver being the fourth um, data analysis tool you get. That's an add-in, you need to add that extra. Before I do this though, I want to name these cells so I can use named ranges and named cells. So to do that, I just need to click onto this cell and highlight all the data and go to the formulas tab and create from selection. It's going to say, do you want to use the left column labels, these labels, to name these figures? Yes, I do. Click OK to that. And then when I click into these cells, it just replicates this with an underscore because you can't have a space in the name. So the computer automatically puts the underscore in for you. So they're now named. Now if I go back to the data tab and back across to what if and the scenario manager, you get a blank box coming up. Now I said I wanted to add an actual scenario, which would be these figures, these pink ones here. Let's do that one first. So click on add, give it a name, so actual. Now you have to tell it which cells are going to have the information that's going to change. So in this example, it's all these pink cells. So those two, holding my control key down, and those three. And I'll click that arrow back up. And that's going to be the same for the other scenario as well. So I'll click OK to that. And then it gives you the current figures. And you can see the named cells coming across now, like so. That's the current figures. I don't need to change any of that. I'm just going to click OK. And I'm back to this box, and there it sits. Now, the change, the first change I want, the scenario, if you like, the first change is in the next one, which is going to be predicted. So the title is predicted. The cells stay the same. I just click OK, and this is where I need to do the change. So now I need to put these figures in these boxes. So it says their predicted sales are going to drop from 123 to 112. So I just need to do that in there. And then the cost of sales are going to go up to 15,000. Lease is going to go to 12,000. So just change that to 12,000. Utilities is going up to 1,900. 1,900. And operations is going up to 2,5. Now, I want to know what the impact of these changes is going to be on these figures. So now what you can do is you can click on predicted and then click show, it says 99 at the moment. If you click on show, it's now gone down to 80. So that's what the impact is going to be. And if I want to go back to the actual and show, I'm back to the original. Now you can also do a summary sheet if you wanted to print this off or you wanted people to see this. If I click on summary, it's just gonna do it for B11, but I could click on all of these cells, these gray cells if I wanted to, but I'm just gonna do it for the results cell, okay. And it creates a separate sheet. We was on demonstration, separate sheet, and it lists the variables, if you like. Now, the current values will be a replica of either one of these scenarios. So the current values is the same as actual, so you can actually get rid of column D. I'll just delete column D off. So there you've got the two sets of figures for each of those two scenarios. Now this is a dead copy, so if I do a change, uh, create a different scenario, I would have to run this again, and then it would overwrite. It would not overwrite this one, but it would just be a change from this one. So if I go back to demonstration, 
what I want to show you now is that that was a scenario um, where we just type the figures in, but sometimes it's a percentage increase or decrease that you want to show in the scenario. Let's do that one. So back across to what if scenario manager. Now you need to make sure you show actual. I think that is the actual, it's 99,000. Otherwise you'll be doing the percentage increases on the predicted figures. I don't want to do that. So it's just going to be a new, a complete new scenario. And let's call this 50% um, drop in sales. So 50% drop in sales. Now I'm only going to do it on the actual sales cell, gross sales, but it, I, I don't really need to change this. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Click OK to that. And then gross sales is there. Now, what I need to do here is type a formula. So I'll type equals. Now, I can either use a cell reference, which is B2, or I can type the name. So if I type the name gross underscore sales, now it's going to be a 50% drop. So that needs to be times 0.5. Let's see what that does. Now, when I click OK, that will change this this formula into whatever the figure is so if i click ok to that it'll give me a warning tells me that ok and then if i click on 50 percent drop show you can see that's dropped and if i go back to actual show so it was one two three 50 percent drop show now it's 61 and again you can do the summary ok it drops it onto a, a separate sheet again and this time you've got a duplicate looking at these two are the same because so I'm going to get rid of column D again. And you, you can see what the 50% drop in sales would be. So I'll do that again. I'll, I'll, I'll show actual and I'll get these, these two increased by say 10, 20% or something like that. If I go on to demonstration, back into what if scenario manager, show actual, show actual. So we're doing it on the actuals and then add um, I'll call it a 20% increase on costs. So basically on these figures here. Again, I could just select these three figures and that's all that would apply to, but it doesn't matter because I'm just going to type a formula anyhow. Click OK. And then leaving all those as they are. So this is now going to be lease equals lease times... 1.2 and that's going to be equals utilities times 1.2 and this one is going to be equals operations times 1.2 and again those are going to change just checking I haven't done any belly mistakes in there okay okay and then if I do this one if I show this one so that wasn't a massive uh, impact on there um, in fact I've done that wrong haven't I so that's if I show actual and then I show increasing costs no, that's right. It's an increase. Yeah, 20% increase. Yeah, that's good. So the money change is not massive, but it is a change. So from 99 down to 96. And then you do the summary again. Okay, and then that drops another. See, it's dropping a different sheet in each time. So each of these you can just delete. If it's no longer relevant, so you just get rid of it. But what these are for, I always think, if you're going to use this scenario manager tool, and you didn't, you're going to demonstrate this on... A screen you need to print this off first give everybody a copy of this and you definitely need to prep this before you do it it's quite hard to do it live um, it's very easy to make a mistake but you can see how all this works and you've got your predicted figures that we did first off um, that was quite dramatic compared to the rest 50% drop of sales is obviously the worst and you could do that best case and uh, worst case scenario if you want you can label it like that instead of actually putting what the percentage drop or increase is it's sort of up to you, but that is how the scenario manager works. There is a limit on the number of changing cells you can have, so you can't just select thousands and thousands of cells. 
there is a limit in what you can do so you might have to do it on some summary data but that is the tool what if analysis so hopefully that was of use for you thank you for your time and i'll see you on the next one